Howdy folks, Matt from designengine.com. We are working with Newell Rubbermaid this week, helping their industrial designers learn fundamentals of Creo as well as parametric modeling. At Design Engine, we help many, many industrial designers and engineers with their design process as it relates to uh, software and uh, the tools that they'll be using. Um, so let's take a look at some of the, the moves that we were showing the guys at, uh, from Newell Rubbermaid and Creo in, in it over, over our, our week-long introductory course. Um, one thing that we talk about very specifically is managing failure mode. Um, when we open up parts and we uh, you see those those big red features in the tree, it's nothing to be afraid of. I think that's something that we can manage quite well. So let's open up a part here, you know, and just take a cursory make a cursory inspection of what uh, what some of the the defining attributes of this are, and you know, let's see if we can get it to fail uh, in our uh, in our next little segment here. Hi, I'm Jessica David. Um, I'm with Newell Rubbermaid and I work as an industrial designer on their Rubbermaid commercial products. And I came here for week one of Creo training. We use Creo in the workplace to communicate our concepts and we also use it to crank out quick models to see things in three dimension and learn more from the model than you can in a two dimensional space. So as an industrial designer, I work on different concept developments for projects related to the commercial world and how I communicate those, those uh, concepts and projects is through visual tools such as sketching and 3D modeling. I worked very closely with Matt and he was great to work with. He was very patient with me and he would walk us through steps several times so it would really sink in. I never felt like I was lost with what he was showing us. And it was especially nice because I was here with only one coworker, so we had a lot of special attention. And Matt was really good at making sure all of our answers were, or all of our questions were answered. I got a lot of personal attention with just the two of us taking the class. And it was also in a very laid back, um, welcoming environment. And that really sets it apart from your typical classroom setting and uh, especially in school when you feel a little bit more competitive with your classmates, this was more, we're all in it together, we're all learning this program together. Uh, it was a good environment and it was a great way to learn. I would recommend Design Engine to coworkers for sure and anybody who's interested in learning a 3D modeling program. It was a good environment to learn a new program. You were fully engaged the whole time and you came out of there with a strong um, foundation to keep growing with the program. So we've got we're, we're, we're taking a look at this uh, this uh, this piston rod, and if, if we know that we might want to make some changes to it, um, and you know, we we hope that it that it's not going to fail. So let's, uh, let's let's take a look here, see if we can figure out exactly how someone else built it. That's uh, it's a more common scenario for us back at the office someone else has worked on, has built the model, and we're, we've been asked to make changes to it. And one per change in particular, we're, we can, you know, we can make this, see if it's going to grow shorter, or let's see if it's, uh, it's going to grow longer. Uh, and then at, when it goes longer, whoa, there it goes. You know, we s start to see some, some red things down there in the corner. Not to be afraid, not to, not to fear though. It doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, that these features are failing. Just means that they're getting a little confused about you know, some of these features up here in the top of the tree that uh, that might be um, might be a little choked up. So let's uh, I'm not seeing too much that's helping me here in shaded view. I'm going to change it to wireframe and uh, do the wireframe view or hidden line. That'll be fine too. And see if that offers any any more information as to what you know what might be happening here. And if I zoom in really close, I know I was making this longer. What I see here is this little uh, orange line. I'm going to right. I'm going to keep clicking my right mouse, right mouse button in Pro Engineer. This is a pretty uh, special feature of it. We should be able to find 
just exactly what we're looking for by right clicking through. Um, one, two, three, four, five, there it is. And then we're able to, uh, to come in there and find out that that's, you know, that surface is extrude five. Let's take a look at the sketch that created this at a definition. Let's look normal. Use a little WYSIWYG uh, mouse guy up here. SOLIDWORKS has that space bar. And let's give this a quick exercise. And we can see that, yeah, it's, this is very free. That's, that's what's happening out here. And um, so I'm going to try and just, I'm going to do the Thomas Edison method. I'm just going to change one thing at a time. I'm going to take this point, make it coincident with that axis. Let's check out of our sketch. Looks like you know that might have that might have temporarily solved our uh, our failure mode here. So it's not necessarily. Let's go back to a shaded view so we can confirm. Sometimes we get a little wire blind looking at this stuff all day. Let's go back to shaded, and sure enough, there we go. Let's take a look here. See what we can do. Let's uh, let's exercise this one more time with that same move. On shorter, make it a little longer, it starts to fail there, so no big deal. It'd probably just have to come back in and, and change change some other things down there as well. So guys, that's, uh, that's a quick tutorial about what we'll do to look at, uh, at the things that, um, the features that, that above the, what's happening, the, above the, the red features in the model. And uh, it's not that those are failing, it's that the things above it are just confused. So come see us at designengine.com, we'll help you just like we did with Newell Rubbermaid.